what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel so as you guys know the galaxy note 10 was just released and pretty much everyone's been talking about that but a lot of people might have forgotten that actually the galaxy s10e and the s10 and the s10 plus kind of hit their five month anniversary you know so let's give them a round of applause for that but i kind of want to talk about i wanted to do more than just like a five months later review because honestly i haven't owned the s10e for the whole five months that it's been released i have owned the s10 i've owned the s10 plus as well but the s10 is the only one i've owned for that whole entire time period but what i can tell you is dude the galaxy s10e in my opinion is probably the best valued 2019 phone that's been released right now and i don't even mean that in terms of like the new price right now because i think the oneplus 7 pro in terms of new prices is the better value what i'm talking about is actually the used prices because the galaxy s10e has depreciated quite a bit more than the oneplus 7 pro and almost on par with the galaxy s10 and the s10 plus so in my opinion, because of that, I think it's worth it more now and a better price per dollar value better now than it was before. <laughs> It's still amazing. Build quality is on par. The fingerprint sensor, a lot of people said it's like the fastest one they've ever done. I mean, I think it's pretty normal. It is noticeably fast, but I don't, I wouldn't consider it the fastest one maybe, but they're all pretty close. So maybe, I don't know. The screen is still very, very good in my opinion. A lot of people were kind of hating on it because it was a 1080p display. You know, the PPI density wasn't really too high, but the one thing you have to keep in mind is that this isn't necessarily like the flagship. This is just kind of like a base model phone. If you don't want to buy the newest one, or if you don't want to buy the most expensive model, you have a kind of budget option that's not really a budget phone. I still think the Galaxy S10e is a better phone than actually the Galaxy Note 10 in a lot of ways. But the Note 10 has a 1080p display as well too, so I'm not going to complain about this one too much. In terms of software, it hasn't gotten another major version of Android because it's still on Android Pie and we're still on Android Pie. It's going to get Android Q whenever that comes out, so that's a really good kind of thing to keep in the back of your head. It has gotten a couple like software updates, you know, in terms of security and things like that, but nothing too major, nothing like world changing in terms of this, so that's, yeah, I guess it's not a big deal. The specs in the phone are still relevant, you know, you still have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, you have 6 gigs of RAM on the base model or up to 8 gigs on the 256 gig model and this phone is still a super fast phone i really haven't had any issues with you know running anything through it i love this phone a lot in terms of the performance and of course maybe the s10 is faster though even the s10 plus is faster but they, they all feel pretty much the same as long as you're not kind of comparing them side by side now the biggest thing that i've seen happen since its main release was actually the depreciation and i hit about this in the beginning with but in the used market you know galaxy s10s the middle variant or whatever they're still a bit expensive you know they're more on the expensive side and they're a little bit more pricier than the s10e but even the s10s have depreciated quite a bit the s10es i've seen sold for about around that 400 price tag which is pretty crazy i know you're gonna have to kind of research a little bit more but the ones that i've been seeing were around 400 to 450 the galaxy s10s that i've been seeing are about like 500 ish around that price tag which is a humongous depreciation and i think i've already explained to you guys how it happened but i'll tell you guys one more time like all those trade-in values that samsung was doing at the time people were buying like the s10s for like even the s10es for like three four hundred dollars probably even less than that and they were selling them for like five six hundred dollars profiting a little bit but that kind of messed up the whole entire resale value of the s10 and s10 e even the s10 plus and the same thing is about to happen to the galaxy note 10 and note 10 plus as well so kind of keep your eyes peeled on that you can pick up a ton of note 10s and note 10 pluses for super cheap prices probably but that's probably the biggest thing that's happened and honestly in my opinion like the phone is still holding up it's still a great phone in my opinion i probably wouldn't buy it brand new though that's the thing because in the used market they're selling the, like, that's a tremendous value if you're going to get a brand new s10e i would probably just recommend you to get a oneplus 7 pro i think that's worth more money and more value than the s10e but it's still a better value overall and going by that, I mean, I think the S10e is the best priced used phone that was released in 2019 so far. I think a better value than this though would be the Note 9, but that was released last year. So if you want a used phone, I would probably recommend you getting a Note 9 over the S10e. It is a bigger device overall, but you do get the S Pen, bigger battery, different things like that. But for a 2019 phone, for a phone that just came out like five months ago, you cannot go wrong with this phone at all. It's still very solid. The cameras are still really good. Build quality is on par. You have the micro SD card slot. You literally have so much going for this phone. So I would highly recommend you guys go pick up an S10e in the used market or certified refurbished. I'll leave one down linked in the description that'll be cheaper than brand new. But like I said, if you want to go the brand new route and you're going to buy it anyway, I would probably recommend you to buy a OnePlus 7 Pro. And I've already done a comparison between those two. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down 
in the description or you can just search on my channel for it. But either or, that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.